Hey guys, uh, sorry it's been a while since our last video. Um, we've kind of switched gears to focus on our financial goals of uh, the last stage of our refit. So um, we'd like to put in our order for our sales. We have all of our measurements ready to go, um, but we just need to save up enough to uh, you know, pull the trigger on that order. Um, and then we've got to install our wind vane and uh, install a couple of safety features, but um, pretty soon uh, we'll be able to make our first overnight uh, sailing trip, which will be super awesome. Um, but anyways, uh, in order to meet our financial goals, Jordan's picked up extra days on Footloose, uh, the sailing catamaran that we both work on. And I've also picked up extra days on another catamaran in town. So uh, we're both just working a lot. Um, luckily for us, it's been raining. I don't know if you can see the downpour outside, but um, it's really allowed me to catch up on uh, a lot of my our own sewing projects um, and get back to videos. So I'm so sorry it's been a long time, but we've been really busy and making a lot of progress. Um, another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, which I was super stoked about, was uh, I started interning at a uh, sailing loft down the street. So. Um, my confidence in sewing has just skyrocketed. Um, so thanks Peter and Brenda for taking me under your wing. Um, yeah, I, I got to work on a couple of sail repairs. I made my own um, uh, kind of like a console cover um, and we just worked on a lot of really cool projects. Um, so uh, right now I'm working on a engine bay part partition for um, our cockpit lockers right now just to keep everything from falling into the engine space when we're underway. Um, and uh, I'm so excited to have the captain's lounge to myself um, because it's allowed me to catch up and also um, when I'm in here, I usually kind of get inundated with, uh, you know, people bring me little things to fix for them. So I, you know, it's hard to actually focus on Atticus. <laughs> so I'm super excited to be working on this project. Um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. I started using this, uh, lifetime thread. Um, it's, uh, it's not Helios and it's not Tanara or Tanara, but it's a uh, PFTE. Um, uh, I should have kept the packaging. But anyways, uh, it kind of looks like a uh, fishing line. You can see it right here. But I've, have, I've been having a heck of a time with the skip stitches. Um, I don't know if you can tell. There's a really long one right here. And then they should look like these smaller ones right there. Um, but I've tried a lot of things. I've jumped down, jumped down to a number 16 needle. That's the smallest needle I have. It might be the case that a number 14 needle would do the trick. Um, I've also rotated my needle but to uh, clockwise to 10 o'clock like it said in my little handy uh, user guide. Um, but I'm just, I continue getting skip stitches and I'm frustrated because I'm like one border away from finishing this. So uh, I don't know, if you guys have any tips about uh, using the, the lifetime thread, please let me know. Uh, if you think it's just not even worth the hassle and you think UV92 is, is good, uh, let me know because I'd, I'd Maybe I'll just stick to that. So anyways, so sorry for being uh, behind on videos. We have a couple that uh, hopefully if it keeps on raining, I'll, I'll post them. Um, but anyways, hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll check in with you soon. Take care.